Hey yo! Hey everybody! Phoenix Seals is coming in straight with I feel that. Is that just me feeling? I, well, you guys were just chatting away without me. I like it. I like it. Hey everybody! Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to another horror hangout. Your place and mine to hang out, play a horror game, and talk about horror stuff. How are we feeling? Hey, Lovren's here. Hello, Red Love, Phoenix Seahorse, Skitter Critter, Megaya. We all burn together. The good bleak, the bleakest name, but the, I, it's a great name. Nice, nice blob. Hello, hello, hello. Um, a spaghetti day. Spaghetti. Um, look, everyone loves a spaghetti day. That's one of the great days. Um, Red Low, yes, hello to you. Darian, hello. Yes, it is Degrassi Camp Junior High with everything going wrong. Newt, hi Newt44. Hails Venom. Hello, hello, hello. Colin Black Rose. Um, lots of you. Maggie Face, hi everybody. Hey Rabbit, hey Rabbit, good to see you. Uh, Jen, mod love, please. Jen is one of our mods here on, on the channel. Uh, and the Discord, in fact. We have a Discord, folks. Gaywinil. Hello, Gaywinil. Britain in. Britain in Osclair. Um, um, thank you, Nightbot. Nightbot just kicked in there to tell everyone about our Discord. Um, and it was a bit slow there, Nightbot. You could have been a bit faster, honestly. But, you know, thanks for trying anyway, you little robot. I kind of imagine Nightbot is kind of like a little evil looking R2-D2 that kind of sh like wimbles around the place, occasionally censoring people. Um, shenanigans! Hello, hello, hello. Um, um, Kato Arena, lots of people coming in. Nice to see you all, folks. Oh, wow, 69 people already. Um, so, hey, thanks for subs. Thank you for subs immediately. Ever drop some subs there? Uh, yeah, Nightbot is like Chopper, but imagine with like a kind of, you know, like sort of the black, black and red, and kind of he's like evil Chopper, even more evil Chopper. Um, uh, Eliana Dane, hello, hello, hello. Spectre, nice to see you. How is everyone? Have you had good Mondays? Are you having good Mondays? Um, my Monday. Did you see the new Lord of the Rings cozy game? No, I must know about this game. That sounds very, I mean, is it just like hanging out in the Shire, eating potatoes? That's, that's fucking cozy. Hobbit life looks so cozy, really. Chaotic Osprey, hi, hi, Chaotic Osprey. Uh, arsenic, I didn't say arsenic, hi, Arsenic. Um, favorite Darkness, nice to see you, nice to see you here. Um, so before we get anywhere further, I have a drink that I'm going to sample tonight, which I am truly, truly worried about, guys. Um, truly worried about this drink. <laughs> it, it, I, I can't promise. I'm not going to drink it yet. It's not cursed drink time yet. I'm saving it probably to midway through the stream because I think I'm only going to drink this one once. It's not like, you know, when I had the pilk and I kept on just drinking it because it was, it was actually drinkable. This one I fear is not going to be drinkable, and so it's going to be a one and done thing. Um, Trash Panda, hello, hello. I need to, yeah, I'm, I've got an alcoholic drink here, which is going to help me build towards the disgusting drink I'm going to try. Um, Living of Stories, hello, hello. A cult cake, hello. I like that name. This is um, this is a gin and tonic I've got here. Which is, hey Zan, nice to see you. Um, witch Bolt. Um, which is, so yeah, I'm pre gaming. <laughs> yes, Meg Drassel. Um, yeah, um, but yeah, I've got like a nice drink to carry me through to the point where, um, where we, uh, where things get, where shit gets real, as we should say. Um, so, here we are, the quarry, been loving this so far kind of forgotten where we're up to we are basically a bunch of camp counselors one of us who's a douchebag has sabotaged the van on the last day of camp which means we've been stuck there overnight decided to have a party 
the party has been interrupted by basically there are kind of weird hillbillies who are out there who seem to be one of whom is huge who seem to be too interested in us I think they're the I think they are like a fault I think they're the red herring I think they're actually good guys who are trying to because we've also seen there is like some kind of real monster which looks like everyone is still alive yes uh, rabbit everyone's still alive I've kept everyone alive so far there is a real monster at least one real monster out there which kind of looked like a shaved werewolf that's attacked again. there's a few people who've been kind of injured a bit you know but yeah it's a bear wolf thank you winter eyes yes um, so yeah we've met the monster once I forgot where we left this so so we I'm gonna have to um, They've kind of, have people been injured? I think people, a few people have had got a few scratches and maybe a couple of twisted ankles. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've forgotten where we were up to. Um, Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 fuck. How? Because okay. we just told them. On the fucking radio! Oh yeah, they got, so they've gone to the radio, they got, and um, we saw, hang on, let me pause this, big close-up of Justice Smith, um, we saw, so these guys, who are the two potentially gay guys, I'm definitely leaning into that, loving it, they went um, to the camp radio to try and get in touch with outsiders, they tuned into a channel and overheard I think it's going to be the hillbillies like over like talking about them like we're coming and get we're going to go and get those guys we saw again I think they're actually on their way to help them and there is actually we also did see that one of the monsters was kind of stalking around outside so we might be about to get some monster hey yeah chip uh Constance as well we might be about to get a, another monster attack and maybe a hillbilly attack at the same time yeah catch them and blood them that's what they heard um so but we've seen the hillbillies they they keep whenever they find one of the teenagers they kind of rub blood all over them and i think that's a way to keep you safe from the monsters i think but i think you're meant to maybe think it's a bad thing but i think it's a good thing um, so, we'll see. Yeah, the monsters are definitely going to be the main enemy. The hillbillies, I don't. Which the hillbillies have done nothing wrong yet so far. Just stalk around and be like a bit spooky looking. Ah, there's the monster. Rose, hi Rose. Rose, you better stick around. Uh, I'm gonna go apologize. There's no need to say fuck you right now. Um, I, I wasn't. Rose, you hope you stick around because this cursed drink is for you. The cursed drink I'm having later is for you, Rose. So you know. Sure, man. Fuck. What the fuck was that? I have no idea. Okay, monster outside, and they're just being. Yeah, I would maybe move something in front of the door. Uh, Ryan. Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, uh -oh. shit. They're coming shit. towards us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about How's the Lemon? Thank you for the subs. Top? Thank yeah. you okay. so much. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Oh, fuck no. Oh, shit. 
Come on, you gotta do something uh, to help your friends. Uh, Kaylin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get into a cabin now. Go! Yeesh, this is oh, ten. fuck, dude. I kind of wish I hadn't... I kind of wish I... Just having a moment here. I kind of wish I hadn't, like, left it on a cliffhanger last time, because now we're, like, dumped right into the tenseness. Kagzumba, hello, hello. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, they're getting into a thing. That's good. That's good. What now? Just be quiet. Be quiet. Uh, desperate or aggressive? I don't know. I don't know if aggressive is the way to do this. But I'm not into desperate either. Hmm. What are we thinking, folks? Um, Peg Zumba, thank you for gift subs. Um, what do we think? Aggressive? Katarinas is aggressive. I kind of... I'm feeling desperate more. It's not great, because I don't really like... Alright, we're going to go... Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. I went it's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off. Uh. Well, it, yeah. I mean, if it if it has hearing, like a dog, maybe it, we we can play like a like a really high. I like this. Okay, this is good. This is good. Blast it, and, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know. Sandwich. I like this. If you Do start it. blasting, I'm gonna, just gonna say. As a rule, in horror movies, the obvious solution, as in, like, blast at something with a shotgun, doesn't work. Doesn't work. So going aggressive and being like, I'm just, well, let's just start shooting, you probably, all you do, right, is blow a hole or something in the roof that it will then get in through. So, I'm not believing in the bullets. I'm believing in the... I like I like what Dylan suggested, which is the feedback. Um, damn right, horror handbook. Maybe I should change the stream to that name. That like instead of horror hangout, horror handbook. Hell yeah. Okay, come on, Dylan. Let's do this. Um... What? It's almost. Hey, Claire. Okay, take a breath. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Right. There's something missing. I... What's missing? Oh, Scare the cat, that's good. Hold the wire. Oh no. Fix it. I'll cover you. I I prefer these to Outlast. Um, no, I liked Outlast 1, didn't like Outlast 2. No one has died yet, no. Now could be the time. Shit. Fuck. Not much. That's not good. Oh no. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'm fucking spreading. You have to cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. So, yeah, in case we already saw, in case you met, we actually have already seen one of the other, like the indie kid. He seemed to get infected last time. And I think he's still, I think he's still around. Was that the tarot card? I've completely forgotten the fucking tarot cards. Um,. But yeah, the the monsters seem to be able to do some kind of. No one has died yet. I, to say that the moment someone gets mauled. Um, Picaro is here. Picaro is another of our fine, fine mods. Hi, Picaro. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, they seem to be. There seems to be some kind of infection element going on. Um, anyway, let's try and handle this. Um, uh, desperate. Okay, just hang on. 
fuck! Oh, okay, 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 just, just hang on, hang on. Uh, fuck. Shotgun or chainsaw? Oh my god, neither of those are good! It's gotta be the chainsaw. The cha shot you shotgun blast his arm off. That's not good. Neither of them is good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit in sh <laughs> I'm like I mean, chainsaw's not good, but at least it's just a slice, whereas the shotgun is just like just like pulping it. Um, I love that they gave you that decision. Um, both are bad. Yeah. But I'm going chainsaw. Are you sure? Yes, fucking do it. Fucking do it. Yeah, look at Justice Smith is fucking bad. Whoa! <laughs> Wowzers. Alright, this just got this just got gnarly. Get the wire. Get the thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Oh. I love he's still giving instructions where he's just had his hand chopped off at the chainsaw. He's still like, dude, you might want to patch, like, wrap that up or something. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. Oh, that worked. Yeah, they fucking went for it there. He was like, he didn't hang around. He didn't. He didn't. Nice work, Dylan. All right, you might want to fucking tourniquet his fucking arm now or some shit. This isn't. He's got. Oh my, I love these guys so much. Hey, Clemmy! Oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Clem, come on. Just hold on. You gotta look after me. Come on, Clem. Why did you do you that? Go? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Is that the kid from... If you said Dungeons and Dragons, you are correct. Is it safe? Uh, let's go reassuring with your blood-covered face. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. They've just shaken off. They've just shaken off. I love the way his face is just absolutely speckled in blood now. Um... They've just shaken off the fact that he just chainsawed a kid's hand off very, very smoothly. Raiders, who we got raiding? Who we got raiding? Hi, raiders. Welcome. Join the join the join the chaos. You just missed someone getting their hand chainsawed off. What the hell was going on? At... Oh my god! Tell them what happened. Oh, um, I'm okay. I, I, I mean. I'm not, um, but it's, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. How is he You're not jogging. bleeding out from Holy that? fucking shit. Uh, did that thing do this? No. Well, <laughs> sort of. I did it. <laughs> Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. He's in, he's deeply in shock, which is why it doesn't hurt. Fuck. Did she shoot at us? Oh, who's, who's there? This? Hey, Rocket Ray! Good to see you. Hope you're. Thank you for the subs. Don't know who that lady with the cool eye patch was, but I like her style. Ah, oh, shit, Dylan. What is that? Oh, what are we looking at now? Who 
is this? I don't, no, no. Clem, no. Clem's looking at the cursed drink. Clem, stay away from the cursed drink, thank you. Who was that in the pool then? Did I miss something there? What happened there? I like the way we get these really gentle songs and like, look at the stars, everybody. Oh, I was explained later. Okay, thank you, thank you, First Vector. I haven't got to the cursed ring yet, folks. You're gonna have to wait till halfway, halfway the stream. Oh, the lady's gonna have a go at me because I don't think I got any tarot cards this time. Oh, you're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's yeah, Clem, it's more. cold, getting cold in now, so Clem is very committed no to going means under. No no reading. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere out there. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. Uh, that's I'll actually a poltergeist like behind me. Um, just moving around. Very, uh, chill. Prayers by Night, Chapter 6. Emma! Oh, this is, so this is the other Jesus jock Christ. who was going... Yeah, he's been, so he's covered in blood in a good way. So the rednecks covered him in blood, um, which I think is protecting him somehow. And now he's wandering around looking for his kind of ex-girlfriend um, who he went skinny dipping with. Um, which is why he's just in his pants. Man, God, this thing sucks ass. Yeah, I think she's still alive. She escaped. Yeah, I, I did a really cool escape Emma, with her last you? time. She got Emma got chased by... She got to, like, a radio tower or something, and there was one of the monsters there, and it chased her, and I managed to do a lot of quick time events that got her away from it, and she took a... She went on, like, a death slide thing across the lake and then dropped into the lake. Um, so, yeah, she's still alive at the moment. Um, so far, no one has died. Someone has lost a hand now, but no one has died. We do have at least one... Was it here that she was? I remember this... Oh, no, it's a different bridge. I feel like... All right, there's that over there. I kind of want to go looking for... This guy, by the way, is the kind of jock douchebag who is the reason that they're all stuck there because he intentionally sabotaged a van so he could try to get back together with Emma. Um, so he's a, uh, he's a, hey Flea, um, he's a selfish a-hole. Um, oh, what's that? Yeesh, I'm gonna fall off this. Hey Shizzy. Uh, Dil yeah, Cam, Dylan has lost his hand. It was pretty spectacular. Um, we got, you know, we got a choice, we got choices of how to do it as well. And I think I made the right choice. I'm just really paranoid about missing tarot cards, so I'm just going to go for a wander and see. I think Dylan's going to make it out. You're gonna have to go back and watch the VOD because uh, it was worth it. It was it was really worth it. It was quite a moment. <laughs> yeah, this is all a dead end actually. I don't think you can go through these trees, so I think the only route I can go on is actually up, up on this thing. The hand beheading. It's like beheading an arm. You cut the hand off. Um, what happened with the one who got bitten? Um, what, the other one who got bitten? There's two have been bitten now. 
one we've not been back to yet. Um, one of them we've not been back to. The Handing, I like it, yes. There's a kind of, like, indie kid who's kind of one of the least interesting characters so far. He's kind of, like, sweet but a bit boring. He was bitten last episode. Then Dylan, who is awesome, got just got bitten this episode. And we just took his hand off. He was just like, cut my hand off, you've got to. And so Justice Smith did it. <laughs> Job done. 666, six, six. woo! That's amazing, guys. Kind of free, hold it there. Uh, for, I, by the way, for Raiders and stuff, if you're interested, we have a really cool Discord. Uh, Nightbot, Jill. Nightbot, tell them what the Discord is. Join our Discord, it's great. Chaos Minkies. They are chaotic and funny. Um, and, um, yeah, there you go. Hey, Nightbot, you got there, Nightbot. Little, little R2-D2 asshole. Um... Join us. It's a good community. We're very fun. We're not a cult. We're not a cult. We didn't burn him. It's a quote from the League of Gentlemen, which is a very funny comedy horror se British comedy horror series. Quite old now. We didn't burn him. Oh, got one. Fuck yeah. I had to go back a little bit that way and it gave me a yeah there may be 666 of us but we ain't a cult all right it's not my first ever spe first specter i've got a few others um i have found a few others but it's the first one today Oh, spooky voices. Don't know what this is. Uh, Flea, you're gonna have to wait. I'm gonna reveal the cursed drink in a while. Whoa! Oh, it's her! Oh, God, Emma! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. Uh, what do we do? Startle? I'm gonna go delighted. What the heck? Let's oh, make God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> Whoa! All right. Jesus she just Christ. punched him in the tits. You left me back there, you asshole. God, Emma, come on. He's literally just in pants. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? It's a naked when? werewolf. Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, I'm She's gonna notice him. that he's the thing that got attacked a, his face is covered in like... blood. What? It was like what? A naked werewolf. Like, out of a horror movie? <gasps> Ooh, okay, self-awareness. Um, well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you Oh, know? don't be a dick! You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear! No, you're right, you're right. Oh, yeah, and now we have this fucking... The, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. I mean, it's kind of just in him. Um, what do we go? What do we think, folks? Defensive or apologetic? Defensive or apologetic? I'm curious. Defensive. We got one defensive so far. Defensive, defensive, apologetic, apologetic. Kind. Of, oh shit! All right, I'm hey, gonna go defensive on I'm this. I'm trying one. to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? She has, to be fair. I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall I, I think apologetic was the way to go, but more armor. people voted defensive there. You know, so if, if you 
that lead to these guys breaking up. It's on you, all, uh, chat. Oh my god. Not me. What? Uh oh. Run! Shit. Where are you? Okay, this is probably gonna be a quick time event stuff. Whoa! Okay. Yikes! Take off! Sorry! Oh, what an asshole. Uh, run or hide, run or hide. Uh, I think. I think hide. Hide. In the past, I've always run. Oh shit, I've got to hold breath, hold breath, hold breath. Hold breath. Yeah, that's a really bad hiding place. And yet, somehow, the creatures have got really bad vision. The blood has got to be helping him, yeah. Blood's totally helping him. Oh, I did miss the timing to let go, but it's okay because he's got the blood on him. Yeah, that was a bit confusing there because you sort of went out, shot, and then came back, and I think. The fuck? I didn't tell him you to run, you should have just stayed there. The guy had left. Seen. All right, there's a. Okay, this seems to be a trap. Oh fuck! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit! Oh. 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 Well, pry open, obviously. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Don't just pull your leg out of a oh, trap. Yeah, but it's like got fangs in it. You don't just pull your leg. You, you... Look, you could... Oh. oh, there we go. Is that Lance Henriksen? Who is that? Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Um, what do we think? Compassionate or rational, folks? Compassionate or rational? I'm thinking compassionate. All right, compassionate. Okay. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? Who? I thought she went oh. out with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. Okay, twist. So Mr. Hackett is um, played by uh, Dewey from Scream, whose name I've just forgotten. David Arquette. So David Hackett plays Mr. Hackett, who is like the camp, head of the camp. That's his daughter, basically. We've not met her before in the game, I don't think. Um, we've not met her before, so she's just uh, showed up and like showed up dead in the pool for mysterious reasons. Um, hey, thank you if people are gift subbing. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, we've just seen a photograph of them so far. Nick, you 
You smell so good. Yeah, this is the guy who's been bitten, um, sh and I think he's about to do some bad shit. So, what's the option here? Intervene, yeah. Yeah, intervene. You alright, yeah. Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, okay. looking fucked. No. Hmm. Stranger danger. What, what are you? I yes. You. Hey. Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Uh, get off! I think he's about to turn. Uh, watch out! Oh, Nick, get off! Hey, right in the rags. Oh, what? What? Water burning or the chlorine or something? I just wanted him to stop. Nick, dude. Uh, come for Abby or help Nick. What do we reckon, folks? I mean, I think he should burn. Yeah, I'm thinking Comfort Abby. Hey, hey, it's okay. You're okay. I got you. I got you. Oh, he got out anyway. What did I do? I I don't know. Don't go near him. He's so cold. Let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> he should have been amputated as well. Yeah, they didn't get around to amputating him. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. I mean, I would just kind of not be going near him. I think he's going to turn uh, into a so werewolf. Much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. Good thing we didn't use the shotgun to amputate his hand there, folks. <laughs> this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? Um... Was it the water was burning him, or was it the chlorine in the pool? Oh, it's a good question. Like, we've seen them a bit around water before. So, because there's, like, the lake. Hmm. Don't know. It was the water. Okay. That doesn't go with... Hmm. I'm really curious what these monsters are. They kind of do look like... They look like a wealth, but, like, midway through transformation, right? You know, like... Because they're not all hairy. They look like, you know, when the person's changing and they're beginning to get the wolf form. Yeah, I think it's the water. Maybe they're a vampire wolf. They're the combination of both. Because, yeah, water is vampires, right? Moving, running water, vampires. Werewolves, just silver as far as I know. Oh, and hemlock, I think. Um, yeah. So maybe they are like vampire werewolves, as someone just... Wolpires. Wolf, wolf um, maybe. Crazy, man. I mean, like photos, whatever we can. I mean, I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. I've already done that once. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Maybe get away from the guy who tried to eat you a minute ago. Hey, Ruben. Here. That better? Thanks. Hey. I don't know. He's looking not good. Oh, what's here? 
I wonder where Caleb is. Hey, little Miss Babylon Brook. My day has been good. I hope your day is good. This is a fun oh, it's a shower. I was going to say, this is a fun, tiny, empty room. Um, can I go into all of these? I'm going to have to check them all in case there's a tarot card in, a sh in the shower for some reason. How's my screenplay coming along? Uh, well, I'm working on two things at the moment. I'm working on my, my ghost story novel, and I'm working on a horror screenplay. Today I've been doing some structure stuff on, my, on the screenplay. Hey, got one, got one, got one, got one. Um, so I was doing some structure stuff on the screenplay today, trying to figure out some of the structure for it. Yeah, the old lady isn't going to totally diss me next time. Um... place was so different like 12 hours ago. Anything I can share about the novel? Hmm. The real horror in this game is disappointing the yeah, old lady for sure. Right that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a, he was like a fish out of water. Right. Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit, or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Any advice if people want to do stuff or get distracted? Mm, rabies? Uh, hang on a second. Not Let me just get to this. <sighs> I think Abby... Someone, they're talking different. about rabies! Whoever suggested rabies... It isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Of course. Stop going close to him. She's obsessed with going close to him. Uh, calm or aggressive? I'm leaning towards calm just because I... But I don't want her... Yeah, calm it is. Nick. Please, just tell me. Really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. Oh, she's, she's friend zoning him. <laughs> oh, such. Such. What? Such a cop out answer. Oh, I don't like this guy at all. I know he's been infected by something, but. Abby? She was gonna go and find something to help him, and she just keeps talking to him. You. Yeah, this is not good, Abby. Go away from him. Yeah. Okay. Abby, leave him. Like me, Abby. Uh, I'm gonna go. What do we think? What do we think? Yeah, he's not looking good at all. I don't think compassionate is the way to go. I think we've got to be apprehensive here. Nick, you're. Yeah, please back away Did from you... him. No, I... no. Just Nick. Oh no, he's Big calling Dick himself Nick. Big Dick Nick. That's embarrassing. What the hell? I'm embarrassed for you, Nick. You're not allowed she to. You're be. not allowed to use your infection as a excuse to call yourself that name. I do. I. I. You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. 
Stop. Oh, get away from him! His eyes look. Pickens. Yeah. Right off the bone. This isn't you. This this get isn't you. Get away from him! I... You stupid. Oh, this is driving me mad. Whoa. Whoa, Abby. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. Yeah, he's he's getting ready to turn. Look, he's looking very much like. Hell yeah, fucking blow the fucker away. Uh, Fuck you. Uh, 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 no. Abby, don't feel bad about this. Wow, that was a quick change. They do look like kind of like a ghoul. Yeah, there is a kind of ghoul vibe going on there as well. Did he just pull his skin off? What happened there? I mean, I think, I'd like to think that the shotgun blast stopped the thing from attacking her. He looked like he was getting ready to properly go for her. So I'd like to think that blasting him was like actually at least kind of enough of a warning to make him, oh no, it's mouth time. Yeah, she. the true horror of this game is this girl's extraordinarily massive mouth. Um, sorry, I'm not mouth shaming. Um... Um, um, yeah, I think, I think the shotgun blast was the right thing to do. What time is it? About 15 minutes till the cursed drink, folks. What the fuck is he would totally have attacked her if she'd not shot him. Yeah, I think the shot was the right thing to do. Okay. It, it's sort yeah. of... It, okay, it's not too big, but the, the, for some reason... For some reason, the... Um, what's it called? The When you... Basically, it's... Because it's so large, the animators have had a problem with the rigging of it, and it moves weirdly sometimes. It doesn't move as it quite as it should. Like, the other mouths are much... They, they don't have the problem with the rigging. The rigging of the mouth is weird on her, basically. Um, I were and a that's counselor at an off-season camp. Sometimes it looks like... This is, looks okay right now. And it started there are some shots home, where it looks very weird. And there were monsters. I would go... The lunch. Um, I'm quickly checking the tent for a, a uh, Ryan stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. The rigging of the mouth. It does sound like a horror story. Um, I really like that light effect. You can see occasionally it just does that kind of it does that refraction thing. It looks really good. Uh, how did you get into writing? All right, Caffeine Ferret. 
ask a good I'm gonna do we'll do some talk we'll do a little question time. Let's take a little break, do a question time. Um if you got anything to say about horror, any questions about writing, screenwriting, horror, shoot now and we'll do them quickly. Um before before um before I drink the cursed drink. Um um how do I get how why did I get into writing? I honestly when I was a kid I, I was really I love films I really love films I really wanted to get into making films I, you know and the first thing I learned about was directing and I really always wanted to be a director um, when I was a kid film equipment was very expensive um, oh what appears to horror that is a huge question um, I couldn't afford a film camera I could afford a paper and pen so I found in a magazine there was some examples of script writing and I started copying them and using the format that it laid out and the bits of script so I decided to write my own script. I was always just good at, the other thing was like story, writing stories when I was a kid I was just always, it was one of the few things at school I was good at. So I guess it was partly just built in, partly like something I could do when I decided I wanted to get into filmmaking was script writing was cheap and easy. So. Film equipment is still expensive, but we all have a really good film camera. People use these a lot now to make films. You can use an iPhone camera and shoot something with it very, very easily. Don't forget that. You can even buy like a couple of weird little... I've shot music videos where you can get little lens attachments, like a widescreen lens and things like that that you can attach onto certain cameras. Um, oh man, camera, there's a lot of questions. Favorite Aikman short story? I've adapted Aikman into a into a feature film. That one is my favorite, probably. It's called The Stains. It's a um, I've made three music videos actually. Um, two of them are up on YouTube. Maybe th well, three of them are actually. Um, oh my! All the questions are coming really quickly. Um, I've not written. It's not been made yet. Written in rags. Is I'm working on making it at the moment. Um, the Stains is a story of a guy who whose wife dies while they're very young. He, while he is in mourning, he goes up uh, onto the moors and he meets a mysterious young woman living in an abandoned village, who he falls in love with, and it turns and he gets into a very complicated, almost toxic relationship with her. And she's not human; she's actually a kind of nature spirit. And things go very badly because of that. Um, so that's the that's what the stains is. The Eggman is an amazing horror writer. I very much recommend him to people. Um, anyway, um, other questions. Other questions. Um, uh, ask me questions. Um, sometimes I feel the urge to write, but I have no idea what to write. Do you get that? How do you deal with it? So. Oh, so many showrunners I'd like to work with. Russell T. Davis. It, uh, is a big one. Um, oh wow, there are so many questions here. I'm gonna peep. Um, okay, let's let's do a few questions, a few at a time. Okay. Um, if you don't have, how do you deal with not having ideas? I always have ideas. I think having ideas is actually unfortunate. You know, one of the things I'll say, chaotic Osprey. I don't want to. When you when you start getting better and better writing ideas are actually one of the easiest things to come by it's actually what taking the idea and making it into a whole thing that gets very 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 difficult um how do you find ideas um i do a lot of reading and watching stuff and thinking about what's being made right now and what speaks to people right now i do a lot of living life and thinking about life around me and, and what affects me in life and what I want to talk about and from there you begin to figure out stories that may come from that like um, like a big one in, in Britain was for instance Brexit you know Brexit was this big thing that completely divided the nation turned the nation on, on itself um, has done a serious amount of damage to the nation as well and it was all a matter of faith. It was the whole thing was built around this this kind of fake idea that we would be better if we left Europe. And there was no evidence for that. There was it was all like believers. It was all faith. 
and some people really you know the whole thing got driven by faith so you were either for it against it and it was just like two sides warring so i i actually came up with a horror movie idea which is a film that's coming out later this year which was about a village that gets caught up in an idea of something that doesn't may may exist may not exist and they what matters is the idea of it takes over the whole village and they turn against themselves because of that so what you what i do a lot when you get ideas is to find ideas is you just think about the world and think about how you want to say something or or think about a film that you love and think about what you would do if you were going to try and write that um do i sit sit in on auditions for films only when i'm directing not not when i'm writing writers tend to get kept at arm's length a lot of the time when you're making stuff um i'll sometimes be asked i'll sometimes was brexit a cult i mean i mean i think so yeah um trash panda if you've got a whole story in your head just my advice if you've got a story in your head right get a piece of paper eliana dane yeah of course i like sci-fi horror i like all horror i like every kind of horror um yeah i mean make yeah just going back to Brexit quickly, at the same time as we had Brexit, the US had Trump, also a cult, same thing. Um, um, panda, trash panda, my advice for, if you've got a story in your head, get a piece of paper, write down just like bullet points, the, the individual beats of the story, like one, it starts, something happens, two, this the next thing happens, three, if you know it all, you've got all the things, Put it down, bullet point, bullet point, bullet point, bullet point, bullet point, until you've got maybe six bullet points, right? So maybe more, even maybe less, depending on how many bullet points you can create. Then maybe think about what goes between those bullet points. Go, all right, okay, I've got this starting point, and then how do I go from here to the next bullet point? And you fill that in, you put a go, and maybe suddenly you'll get an idea will pop in your head of a scene that you haven't thought of, and you'll go, okay, I'm gonna put that in. And you, you begin to build the structure more and more and more. You know, so always start when I'm when I'm structuring when I'm when I'm developing a story from idea to on the paper. What I do is exactly that. I get a blank piece of paper and I list bullet points. And I just start, and then I think of moving. Another way um, we've talked a bit about this before. Another way you do it is instead of having a list of you can just do it with a list of bullet points. You can also get like cards, index cards. You can actually even get apps if you've got like. Um, if you've got like a phone or, or like an iPad, you can get index card apps and you just, on each index card, put one of, hey Cypher, um, on each each index card, you put one of the beats of the story. And then that way, the great thing about it, if you've got them on index cards is you can move them around. You can lay them out and you can move them around. So if you suddenly realize, oh no, no, this one should go before this one, you can just shift it around. Um, so there are loads and loads of different ways of, of doing it, but basically st I always start with the bullet points and then flesh them out. How do you deal with scenes that would need special effects? Do you specify or do you just describe? I literally, I don't worry about that. It's not my writer's job to worry about how something is made. I'm just telling the story. I would just, I just write it as it is, okay? There's something to remember. Like if you think um, your job as a writer is not to describe how the thing is going to be made on the page you are literally describing what the story is the structure of the story allow the director and all the other heads of department to worry about that thing that is their job yeah it will come much later um hey we got more raiders welcome to the writing school folks um so so yeah any more quick questions and then we will do the cursed drink it's time for the cursed drink folks um, how do you deal with letting go of the story once it's in the hand of directors and producers? That's a really good question, and I'm not going to lie to you. It is sometimes very, very hard. I've had numerous experiences where a script I've been I've given over has been turned into something that was nothing like how I imagined it to be. Um, how do you deal with it? Firstly, you collect your paycheck. That's why you're writing often is to get paid. So you collect your paycheck you think a lot about what you're going to do next um and think okay well if sometimes it goes well by the way and sometimes you can get a really great you know so you can enjoy it if it goes well if it doesn't go well 
you collect your paycheck, you move on to the next idea and tell yourself the next one will, will go well. Um, does that happen often? It's happened to me quite a lot, yeah. What do I consider my first professional success and how did I celebrate? Ah, good question. Um, probably the big one was create, I created a horror show when I came out of university. Not long, about six months after I got out of university, I created a horror anthology show um, for, for a channel over here, Channel 5 over here. And it, it got off the ground very quick. I was very lucky it got off the ground very quickly. Um, and so at first, it did, I didn't know that they were going to definitely make the show at first. There was a, a period where, for instance, they paid me for one script. They like that script. They said, okay, can you write us one more script? They pay me for that one. So at first the money came in little bits and pieces. And then after a while, suddenly we reached a point, I think after I did two or three scripts, they said, we're going to do the series. And if you want, you can write the whole lot of them. That was probably my, that moment where I was like, um, and I remember coming out, they told me how much I'd be paid for the whole show. I came out of that meeting like, totally just high <laughs> just high on, on just like stuff had happening I was very young um, it was very I think I probably went and got drunk is probably the, the basic obvious answer and probably just went and bought a video game um, so there you go um, right folks time for cursed drink okay I just want to get this over and done with I don't know who to blame for this I don't know who to blame for this, but a while back, is Rose here? Is Rose here? It might be Rose's fault, actually. Um, I'm not happy about it at all. Just as a preamble, um, all right, quickly, Flea. What, your, Flea, ask your question one more time. I keep just missing it. Rose is here. Okay, Rose is lurking. Um, um, Flea, let me do the question, let me do the cursed drink and then I'll do your question because I know you've asked it a couple of times and I will answer it, okay? So, some, well, I, I just want to preface the thing. My one rule with the cursed drink, okay, is I'm only ever going to drink a drink. I'm not just going to make random disgusting drinks. Like, it's eat like, you know, oh, here's a beer with some ketchup in, right? The rule is, it's got to be a drink that someone has made and sold and is selling like oh, this is a drink you will like all right that's the rule okay so um but it can be any drink within that parameter of this is a drink we think you are going to want to drink okay so a while back i think it was rose someone shared a drink of something in the a bottle and um it was what was it called? I've forgotten what it was called, but it was, um, uh, it was, it was, oh, it was Pilk. It was the other version of Pilk. Yeah, the other version of Pilk. This is Pilk Mark II, which is pickle juice and milk combined. Okay. Pickle milk. Yeah, pickle milk. And someone shared an actual bottle of this in the states apparently you can buy a bottle of this all right i don't have a bottle of this so i'm gonna have to create it now so this is pickle juice all right that's pickle juice is it photoshop is it photoshop it could be if it's photoshop i'm about to get stitched up by photoshop so that's pickle juice Oat milk. Oh. Um, it's not curdled. It's not curdled. But it's... I mean, it smells completely disgusting. All right, here we go. Um, I'm surprised it didn't curdle. I thought it was just going to go lumpy. Okay. Savor this, guys, because I'm not going to be sipping this throughout the stream. Mm. 
you know what it kind of tastes like? It basically tastes like salad dressing. <laughs> it basically tastes of salad dressing. Um, uh, gross. Gross. Is it an acquired taste? Hang on. Yeah, it's, it's just like salad dressing in a, in a glass. That's it. That's it. Done. Really hate, hate, hate that someone posted that picture. It tastes like kind of like salad cream or like French dressing combined. I'm not going to throw up. Don't worry. I'm over it. I'm over it. Um, unfortunately, hang on. Um, Flea, what was your question? I'm going to answer it and then we'll get back to the game. Pet's abysmal smoothie. Everyone is just coming in now, just having missed that. It's not happening again. Uh, Want to do stuff but get distracted? Ah, that's a good question. It, these days, distractions are really fucking difficult. I get distracted all the time. The internet is a fucking nightmare for that. Um, I, what is my advice? Some people use, what are they called? There's a system where you basically, you, there are programs that you can get that shut off the internet for like 25 minutes and then you get five more minutes. Um, um, I'm not drinking any more of that shit unless people drop a shitload of subs. subs I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just going to be like brutally honest there. It's horrible. Um, yeah, there are programs you can get that shut shut down. That shut down the in, like you can switch off the internet for 25 minutes. Um, size mode you're off, you're on. That's an easy easy win win. Um, uh, it was worse than pickle juice. Pickle juice is fine. I've had pickle juice in shots. Um, I've, I, it was milk and pickle juice, folks. And if you missed it, it was milk and pickle juice combined. Milk and the pickle juice. Um, um, so, um, you can get programs that switch off the internet for, say, 25 minutes, 35 minutes, um, and then it'll come on back on for five minutes. Uh, hey, thank you for the subs. Oh no, 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 <laughs> oh no. Is that, is that to drink it or not to drink it? <laughs> is that to drink it? Oh, fucking hell. That one, that one was, that one was for you. Um, whoever dropped the 20 subs um well my voice goes weird afterwards because it's fucking disgusting um how many drinks do you drink it hot <laughs> <laughs> oh my god alright alright one more and this is it if I throw up it's you guys who subs fault um <laughs> Uh, um, so, yeah, do that. Don't beat yourself up if you are distracted. I think that's also another thing you can get into. You can get into a loop of kind of like you think, oh shit, I've been distracted, I've not done anything. And then you spend about 10 minutes beating yourself up about being distracted instead of just doing a bit of work. Um, some days I get distracted quite easily. Other days... I get you, you kind of get, you know, you, you get into a groove and you do like a good half hour, hours worth of work and you just don't take breaks. I think the feeling is um, just try and, you know, another thing to do is also take yourself off away from places where you get easily distracted. I often go and write in a coffee shop, you know, because all I will do is I will take... Um, uh, any tips on writing faster? <sighs> um, let me just finish this one. I'll, I'll, I'll try and I'll do that one in a minute. Um, go to a coffee shop. Just take, uh, maybe don't even take a laptop. Just take a pen and paper 
right out of longhand. Hey, Taino. Taya. Um, I will check in with you tomorrow. Don't worry, folks. Um, do it that way. Do it that way. Go to a coffee shop. Take a pen and paper. Write it longhand. Don't take your... You know, maybe even try not to take your phone. But... Uh, Darian, what are you doing? No. Um, so there, that's... A, um, uh, going back to writing Rags' question, we'll do that one quickly and then I'm going to get back to the game. Um, um, Lorelana, thank you very much. Um, to go back... Yeah, the, the thing... Um, right... How, I used to be very, very much a stickler for like getting everything right as much as possible in the first draft, which meant, like you writing in rags, I was quite slow. There's no, you know, I did slowly over time, I've taught myself the benefits of just blasting through and only going back if I really realize I've made a really big um, mistake. Um, my advice to you, the thing is I've got the aftertaste in my mouth constantly and it's just fucking disgusting so ugh, I feel like I'm drinking it still anyway um, Mana, see you, see you um, what can I tell you about what can I tell you about doing it faster just just have the confidence to know that you can go back right, the best feeling in writing that I'll say is you get to the end of something get to the end of something, even if it's not perfect, you've got all the way through it and you've got a beginning, a middle, and an end. Even if they're not good big, beginning, and middle, bit, beginning, middle, and ends, they're still done. And then you can do, go back and do the work, you know, fleshing them out, making them better. I think it just, that feeling of getting through something, then doing it again and again. Um, Taya, the drink was uh, pickle, juice, and milk combined. It was repulsive. Um... um you can watch the VOD and enjoy it all. Hey, Lou. Uh, you can watch it all. I'm not drinking any more of that shit. It was fucking horrible. Um, so, yeah, that's my advice is try and get used to the idea that you can go back and, and make anything that you do better. You don't have to get it all perfect first go. That was what I had to change. I learned that as well. I took a, For a long, long time, I was a real perfectionist. And... Um, it's only been recently, actually, in the last five, ten years, I've got much better at just letting go and and getting to the end of something. Enjoy that rush, that feeling of satisfaction that you've got to the end. Then go back and look at it and you go, okay, I can make this bit better, I can change this bit. But the thing is, is you've still got it all done. And that's that's really fucking lovely. Uh, I just saw, Ke is it Keisuki? I don't know how you say your name, Keikuki, Keisuki. Thank you for the gift subs. I'm sorry I couldn't get your name right. Uh, it just popped up there and I missed it. Um, anyway, look, back to the game. Uh oh, she's being watched. She's trying to. All right, so this is Emma. We're back to Emma. Um, she is. Lou, you came in just at the end of the chaos. Rain must have done this. <sighs> Just, yeah. Uh, I don't have a business email, no. Um, you can contact me on Discord? Yeah, she must be burning her. Oh, this is a very closed-in environment. Oh, that's the other bit of the pig. Yeah, contact me on Discord, uh, Little L. There are just bits of pig everywhere. Is this a dead end? I think it is. Uh-oh. 
the old POV shop. She being watched. Means we're gonna have to do another of those runaway from the monster sequences. But here, that flare, that flare from her, that little refractive flare from her phone light is great, isn't it? Like, look at that little, the little kind of spectrum thing. I know I'm thinking about, I am keeping an eye out for tarot cards. I've kind of figured out roughly how you've got to trigger them, but... The other thing that the Pilt 2.0 kind of tastes like is, um, you know, like the special sauce on Big Macs, but like literally just a whole mouthful of it. Like just, um, the last day I really, I'm going to, I want to do the new, the new, um, Amnesia game is on my list to do, uh, for sure. Big Mac sauce is good in small amounts. I love Big Mac sauce in small amounts. But in big amounts, no. <laughs> it's not good, I can tell you. Yakus, Yakus, thank you for the gift sub. Kelsey, see you again. Come again. I'm back on Wednesday. Oh, people arriving late and missing out on the cursed drink. You guys are going to have to go and watch the VOD. An Amnesia game came out earlier this year. Is it The Bunker? It's sort of set during World War One in a bunker. And it's more like... Uh, it looks really good. It's, the reviews for it were great. It sounds awesome. Um, I, yeah, I heard only good things about the bunker. I'm super excited about it. Uh, I, are they connect? That's a good question. I've only ever played a little bit of one of the Amnesia games. I tried the first Amnesia game. I even, I have played Man of Medan. Yeah, I, it was the first, Man of Medan was the first horror game I streamed on here. Um, um. I tried the first Amnesia, which is like the very early one, and it's a bit janky now as well because it's old, but I didn't like it. Um, I've been thinking about trying some of the later ones, and the Bunker reviews are so good. I don't know if they are interconnect. I think they're all at different time periods and stuff. I don't know if they're under a shared universe, like they're all about the same kind of type of horror, or whether they're all separate. Does anyone know? Um, they're all different stories. Thank you, Little L. Um, I've, uh, I've not tried Little Hope or House of Ashes. I'm going to get to them at some point. Um, probably won't be the next things I play because I sort of like to vary it up. Different types of horror and things. Um, but, um, I am going to do Little Hope and House of Ashes, um, some point. The Faith series. Which what's the Faith series? I don't know the Faith series. Tell me, tell me what the Faith. I'm getting really lost here. Phasmophobia is happening. I don't know the Faith series. Uh, okay, so all right, so people are saying now the Amnesia games are all the same. Uh, they're all the same uh, universe. I don't know these things because I've only, like I said, I've only played little bits of them. Phasmophobia, we want to do. Um, I'm basically. Um, we basically just need. To, I've, yeah, I played Outlast. We did Out Outlast. I played by myself. No, don't you? Oh, you. 
and more the no armor. Uh oh, they caught one. Come on! I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast. Oh, the big guys. Run. Oh no, oh shit, I probably shouldn't have. Fuck. I made a bad shout, I made a bad call there. Yeah, I made a really bad call. Fuck, you got bit. You got fucking bit! That was my bad, shouldn't have run. She won't turn if they, or maybe she will. If they, if they amputate her in time, maybe she won't. She looks like she would be. I mean, her mouth would be terrifying in werewolf form. Abby. Ryan. Got to admit, I'm not that fussed about her not surviving. She's one of the one of the few that I'm not that bothered bothered if they don't make it. Uh, I have played some of the Telltale games by myself. I've not streamed any of them. I played like uh, the Batman one and the Werewolf, uh, the Wolf, was it Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, the the Fables one. Oh, she made it out. Wolf Among Us, that's it. Play Wolf, yeah. Uh, All-time favorite horror game would be P.T. Fucking scared the pants off me. Uh, Firewatch isn't Telltale. No, I don't think it is. Telltale games were all the ones that kind of like this, where it was all like lots of... Um, lots of like quick time events and decisions to make. And they're like interactive stories, kind of. Um... Someone was talking about, so yeah, um, Phasma, uh, uh, is it Phasma, hang on, I'm really confused, Phasmophobia, we're going to try and get to as a group, I think it comes out this month for PS5, I think the idea is that Neil and, uh, and I are talking about doing a stream where we all play Phasmophobia together, maybe getting um, uh, Nick Apostolides involved. PT was amazing. PT was a game that came out towards the beginning of the PS4. It was Hideo Kojima working with, I think, Guillermo del Toro. Um, um, and it was, um, they made, it was like, um, basically, wasn't it like a, basically like a tech thing as, as sort of proof of concept for the, a new Silent Hill game that they were going to make together. And so they made it, and it's basically this whole thing. You wake up in a room, you start wandering through a house. There is an evil presence in the house, and it becomes a loop. You get to the end of a, a certain point, and I think the front door, and then as, as you're trying to get out the door, something happens to you, and then you wake up again at the beginning of the room. But every time, it gets weirder and darker and stranger, and the d evil presence in it, which is this horrible, yeah, playable teaser, P.T., um, the the evil sort of ghost presence that's in there with you gets, and there are weird rooms you go into where there are other kind of weird presence. It was really, 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 really freaky, really, really, really um, extraordinary, uh, very frightening. I literally had to will myself to carry on playing at some points. I also had lots of weird little puzzles and things you had to do to kind of make it progress. Um, it was amazing. And then the, the tragedy of it was that Hideo Kojima had a massive falling out with Konami. And did Konami basically basically say, we are not going to allow this to be put out anymore? They basically, firstly, Hideo Kojima fell out with Konami, so they cancelled the game. Um, they cancelled the game. Then Konami said, we're not going to allow this to be released. Even PT, which was free, it was 
a free release. You could just download it on your PS4. They were like, we're not going to put this out anymore. So if you didn't have it after a certain point, if you didn't save it on your hard drive, you couldn't get it back. Um, and the tragedy that I lived through is that one day I was out at work and I came home and my girlfriend at the time said, oh, I got a new game and I had to install it on the PS4. Hope you don't mind. I just deleted some stuff off your PS4 and I was like oh no and I looked and yeah she deleted PT and so I couldn't get it back and that was that was that so that was how I had PT and I lost it and uh, yeah genuinely probably one of the best horror experiences I've ever had in my life one of the most frightening things I've ever played uh, yeah out of any movie book film game it was the most scary is that how she became an ex? No, no, it, that wasn't the. Re I didn't. I did not break up to for her to, um, for um. I did not break with her for deleting PT, but um. <laughs> no, I didn't. She didn't know. I probably should have warned her. She and she didn't. You know, she most normal people don't know. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Abby, okay, I'm going reassuring. It's gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't. I don't know that. I have the sure. Evil Within two on my shelf, and I've not played it with yet. So no. you might stream that sometime soon. It was you or him, and well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Hey! Oh shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who do we think this is? Um, Alright, I'm not going to say go away. That's stupid. I'm not going to say suspicious. Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. I like the so? way Justice Smith has not bothered cleaning the blood off his face. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Oh, hey, it's What's... this. It's... Max? Yes, Max. So yeah, yeah, these... yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so these... So this is cool. So the very beginning of the game, if you missed it, um, there was a prologue where you met these two other characters who showed up at the beginning of the summer and they came here early and then something weird fucking happened to them and we never saw what it was. Um, they got attacked and then vanished. Um, how, how is Dylan not bleeding out is a fucking good question that they don't seem to be answering. So we, so this, it's her basically. So she's Mr. back Hackett in it. Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should. I think that we should listen to her inside. What do we think? Interested or suspicious? I think interested. I'm not. So far, the humans do not seem to be a threat. It's just the werewolves seem to seem to be. Yeah, I'm going interested on this one. Okay, I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Like she okay. could be an infected in turn, but I don't think so. What? She's changed. Shit. She's had a tough summer. I got two cards. Sweet. Here we are again. Yeah, you can't diss Just me this time, Grandma. You me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? I feel she's dissing me more for having found some. What do we got? Justice. Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect, actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. The moon. The moon. Pretty How pertinent poignant. considering what's going on. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. 
If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into I would. one of many possible futures? I yeah, see more. Hell yeah. Make your choice. I'm going moon, I think, because I think it's got to be Moon because of the whole full moon werewolf thing. She's into us. Oh, alright, they stabbed the evil cop Off in the neck go, then. Top, top. with something Monday, and then Monday. stole his keys. Isn't that terribly exciting? It's like a date with her. Yes, it is. Hey, Jory Bees. So, uh, this game is awesome. I'm really loving it. Come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Yeah. Is she going to tell us what happened? Is this going to be like a whole flashback chapter? Oh yeah, I think it is. Oh, it looks so good. A nice focus pull there. So yeah, they, so what happened, just to fill you in, if you don't miss it, so they basically, her and her boyfriend, um, they came a day early to the camp, they had an accident that drove them off the road, um, she went wandering and found this old weird kind of bits of abandoned freak show that may be connected with who the, mon what the monsters are, when they came, she came back, they got um, a cop, a weird cop who's played by Ted Raimi, Sam Raimi's brother, sort of showed up and really aggressively kept on telling them, don't go to the camp, go to this hotel. They went, no, fuck you. They basically went, okay, officer, and then went to the camp anyway. They went down into the basement, heard some kind of weird noises and shit, and then the cop showed up and kind of knocked them out. Um... Um, Darian, no, I don't mind you. No, thank you for the gift subs. I don't, definitely don't mind it. Um, so yeah, like, um, that's basically where we left them. Like, this cop showed up. Oh, I think her boyfriend got attacked by something as well that might have been one of the monsters. Um, so, and then, and then the, the cop showed up and like knocked her out, and it was all kind of very well. Did he shoot the boyfriend? I can't remember exactly, but. Shit went down. The cop seems to be fucked up. She's being captured by him. Yeah, okay, this is him. Did her boyfriend get bitten then? And maybe her boyfriend is... Yeah. I think when they... Are they skinwalkers or something? I think the cop may have just finished off the boyfriend. I think there might be... Maybe they are skinwalkers then. This guy is a spectacular asshole. He's such this a good bad guy. 
I ask, you answer. Uh, I don't know what, yeah, is skinwalkers a bad thing? Name. Like, I know that it's a, a Native American, uh, hang on. What do, I'm gonna go, ang what do we think? I'm thinking angry here. Let's tell them to eat shit. We can thinking angry, folks. Fella stay says angry. Angie, eat shit. Yeah, all right, consensus is angry. Eat shit. Oh, she did that well. When I say name, you give me your name. Do I make myself clear? You've got my license, can't you read? I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned questions. What are we, are we still gonna stay angry? I'm thinking maybe still stay angry. Um, people are saying fine. Compliant, uh, maybe I'll go compliant for this one. All right. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh, well. Uh, Ted Raimi's we really good at this. Last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm. Intrigued or annoyed? I think intrigued. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Oh, he's another hack it. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. He's the banjo player. He just stepped into great yes, double is. crime. Go ahead and Help kill yourself, me. cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Uh, angry. Let's angry back at him, I think. Fuck up a buck up. Um, I think let's go angry at him. I think pleading. I just don't like the idea of pleading. Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Right now. Again, I don't. I think I'm beginning to think he knows what the freaks are and the bad monsters are, and he is. What? He's looking to protect her by being an asshole, but. I'm not going to lash out here. Let's go. Hey. Hey, you oh. asshole. What the, what the fuck's going on? Max! I know right, you hear me. looking pretty normal. Uh, Red Low, the visions show you generally something from the future of the game. They generally give you a little snippet of action, which I think suggests basically to clue you in on something you should probably do. Uh, like they tell you like, so for instance, one of the visions I had was the moment with the chainsaw. So when it gave me the choice between shotgun and chainsaw, I think because I'd seen the vision of chainsaw, um, I kind of knew that the it helped me clue me in that the chainsaw. I mean, also common sense. To be fair, told me that a chainsaw is better thing to use to amputate something than a shotgun. But 
at least I had the um, yeah the hints. They're basically a little hints of what what's going to come down the line and what you should do. Fuck. Okay, I'm loving this game. Yes. Uh, all right, concerned. Max. Yeah, Are you okay? I, I love my petrol. They can't possibly do show yeah. you. They sometimes will show you possible things to avoid okay. doing or things you should do. I'm kind of all mixed up. You've got to up, figure that out for yourself, I think. More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? Yeah, I, I get the feeling this guy is, I mean, after we got is attacked, one of the monsters. The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone. And now you're back again and, and, and I'm super naked and there's blood and stuff everywhere I mean what the fuck happened I really like this I, Tyler Gazondo is a, a really great actor uh, suspicious I'm gonna go suspicious what do we think suspicious or disappointed I'm leaning towards suspicious I don't know why she would think he would know he's been like Yeah, I think it's a Yeah, so point. our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what oh, I was meant to be owning up to. Oh, I just and Jesus. that flavor came up. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher, the blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Sheriff of North Kill, Kill apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. The next one probably won't be as I upsetting because I can't much... think of much more than be as upsetting as that. Trash Panda, tell me your idea or message me on Discord or something. Tell me. The ranch soda is one Get I'd be dressed. tempted to try. What's he giving you? I'm not going to be the guest of honor. Bash a lot of the, I, a lot of these hey. things I'm going to have to try and Can order from places because obviously it helps if they're available in the UK. Um, what do we think? Compliant or sarcastic? Uh, I'm leaning towards sarcastic. Fuck it. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. Clamato, again, I would try. If I find the Clamato in the UK, I'll do that one. I've not seen it in right, the UK. I've seen it in the. I know it's. Hands through the bars. It's widely available in the States. I'm what? not sure I've seen it in the UK. Hey, Anxious Sandwich. Does he look different to you? I think he looks slightly different. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's get go. the fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. Yeah, there is that. What's that splatter on the wall? Hey! Clamato Stop definitely struggling. does not appeal to me, I've got to say. Clamato is, um, Clamato is tomato juice with clams in it. Um, tomato juice and clams. Hey! Leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Hey! Hey, you can't treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! You, that is not a Bloody Mary. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's not. Beer and tomato is not a Bloody Mary. Think, Laura, think. There's got to be something in here you can use. You can make a Bloody Mary. Tomato, um, Bloody Mary is a vodka. Vodka and tomato juice. Um, What's this? Ooh. Need some sort of lever.
Budweiser Commodus, a Chalada. Okay. Interesting. Never heard of that before. Cato Arena, the see you. Of North Kill lay there sleeping. The hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Mm. Well, we've seen a hag, and we know what the wolves are. A handy little shiv. Oh, I'm not a massive fan of tomato it. juice. Occasionally a Bloody Mary, I like a good Bloody Mary. Um, oh, yes. Uh, okay, all right, I'll look. There isn't a Sainsbury's near me, but I will look. I've got a Tesco near me and a Waitrose, so I'll look in them. I don't know why I'm looking in them because I really don't want to drink the Kamato juice. But. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. I've never tried V8 uh, either. V8 is, isn't that like going to have like eight different vegetables in it, not just tomato? Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Can it be something medicinal? Sure. It should be a drink. The rule is. The second you get out. Alright, aggressive for sure. The rule the is, is it should be a drink that's sold for enjoyment. What? Even if it's weird enjoyment, what it the should fuck be. What's that supposed to mean, asshole? Tropical V8? What? You can't just leave us in here. V8 might have to be another one I add to the list Come in some back. form or another. Spicy V8 sounds good. I didn't even know there were... Fuck. Where do we submit our drink ideas? <laughs> on the cursed... On the cursed food... On the cursed food page on the Discord. Uh, let's go playful. I didn't know there were multiple V8s. There. You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> I love these two. Well, these that may two be true, great. but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in 8th grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He, uh, he just asked a lot of questions, a lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. The weird thing about he this guy is he's not feeling? like got the weird yeah. hunger or anything. Well, he didn't Maybe ask that you? just happens at night. No. Huh. Rude. Hey, Bugs. See you soon. Back on Wednesday. Back on Wednesday. Just so you know, uh, Neil, we're not streaming with Neil until Thursday. My next stream is going to be Wednesday. Okay, folks? Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It? Mm -hmm. It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my God, I think like I'll be Chris on Wednesday. Hackett? I'm going to be yeah. trying to finish the Hackett? Resident Evil 4 DLC. As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? I'm near the end of it now, I think. So I think I'm going to try and get it done Man. on Wednesday. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's, I mean, what? I don't think he thinks it's actually some camp counselor. Her face here is really weird. I think it's reflect, I'm gonna go reflective. I don't think she thinks it 
She wouldn't actually think that it's some kind of kidnapping ring. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying like, to get gonna us out of here, and I can't get a chance to, like, tell you why the fuck we're in here. In the police in station. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Yes, we're back to the characters from the start of the game, shenanigans. They, we've, We're doing a flashback to what happened to them now after they got caught. Uh, encouraging, this isn't forever. Frustrated, Lionel. I'm thinking encouraging. Here, what do we think, chat? Osclair, yes. Um... Oh, Cam saying frustrated. Interesting. Encouraging from Houseman. I think encouraging is the consensus. This isn't yeah. forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced oh, good. of that. Oh, good. Drink you ideas submitted. Positive. Good. You can't think like that. I'm so excited. Might as well just accept it, right? <laughs> Very excited. Oh, fuck that. Someone did say... Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean... I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not going to let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to study to be a vet, and you're... going to... Um... Be what? a werewolf that I love. I'm going to what? I saw the letter, Max. Oh, yeah, he failed college. What are you talking about? To get rejection into college. letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I'd be totally up for the bean boozle thing. I don't know if it's you can get it over here again. I, I've never seen it over here. But I've never really looked Dude, for it either. Were good and you wrote a I should probably look on Amazon or something. Not good enough. Fuck. Maybe I'll do a bean boozle mukbang. You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? Oh, Trash Panda knows. Okay. These guys, there's a lot of talk here. Uh, empathetic. Let's go empathetic. I'm trying to keep these two good I'm with sorry, each other. Max. This, this really sucks. Our crown martini. Another drama kid. No. It's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. They can be nice drinks. Yeah, I, I will drink the nice drinks. You know, surprise me. Like, Mogu Mogu, okay, that was a pleasant surprise. Out of here for now. I Great. still think Sign Mogu Mogu up. should sponsor me. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like, from when we left home? Like, from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into that... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. Yeah, because I think they were run off the road by one of those creatures. Cop. Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, uh -oh, but there's the like... the ghost is moving again. Nobody else around. Yeah, that hey. is concerning. Especially Hello. the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by... something. And then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. She's all warm. Like, she's I, nice I remember and warm, actually, because she's been. And a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Oh. Ian. Is Ian like a pet werewolf that they've had? I don't think it was had? a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is 
Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but in the that, world. I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were Call all like, yeah, shit that happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Yeah. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Hey, Werewolves? good, good. Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> that was a great car. What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. Look at my fucked up eye. I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories like there has to be a rational explanation for everything for all of this okay you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body you told me to and if it's See right with which your face to cleave limb from torso with great haste what you did the right thing see she got a whole poem about it he's so chill about losing a hand He's so chill. He's just like, it's fine. I know he's probably very high There's from endorphins and some other think. stuff right now, but... Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Yeah, these three are awesome. Sweetheart. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over Sorry for you it all off. Again, See you, again, and nothing making Good luck with me, Ings. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. Probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been uh, weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. Clemmy, Clemmy is a, um, she is a Jack Russell cross. She's three quarters Jack, Jack Russell and a quarter I don't know what. She's very small. I think she's smaller than a lot of Jack Russells, even. So, it's a mystery. But yeah, she's mostly Jack Russell. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset, only to be stopped when. I turn into a nasty ass monster Poor and kill you, yeah. and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth. Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... 
Hey, yeah, there's to catch him off guard and make our escape. What do we think here, folks? Reckless or curious? Seduce him. I don't want to see. Look at her face. Her expressions are amazing. Curious is winning, isn't it? Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. What do we think here, folks? Do we still think we can do this, or do we think escape is the way? I kind of... All right, optimistic is still winning. I mean, we know we've seen we've got to stab... But I'm worried if we stab him in the neck, that's actually a bad call. All right, people I think are still we moving try. towards optimistic. I mean, if he was going to kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he that's waiting for? True. Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's yeah, Ruben, I think you're right. Something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, T-Money. Can I call you T-Money? I mean, that's a bad why? nickname. And it, why would anyone like that nickname? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. I feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way. Okay. Oh, come on, Team Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't Stop be buds, right? Money. I can think of seven. What do we think? Skeptical or. Please don't start calling me Team Money. Skeptical or understanding? Understanding. Interesting. Everyone is very kind of. You're right. All right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh, I think that was too obviously too nice, but... Oh. Yeah. I see what Shit. you're doing. Well, yeah. It's not going to work. You think we're just going to be besties, and I'm going to let you walk yeah, right Yeah, I think out that here. was too nice. Not going to happen. Asshole! Max! Damn. You know what's going on? We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Mm. I said, <laughs> the team on take day. your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Oh, that was a bit of a weird cut. Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Ah! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. Ask next time, then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Shit, I can't see what that says. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? 
Sorry, Connie. Nothing. Sorry, On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Hey, whoa there. Whoa there. I don't know, gang. I think we blew a lot of choices there and I'm putting them all on you. Not really. Not really. Oh, we're going to get to see this. Oh, boy. He's going through it. Uh, compassionate or clinical? This one... What do we think? Tell me what you're feeling. I'm liking clinical. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good like how? I don't know, just... Bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Oh, I don't know if I would have told him to come closer. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? Uh. Max. Dude, that's pink eye. Doing a slow turn change here. Yes. He needs a Snickers. Yes. Whoa! When they turn, they really just turn. Oh fuck! That's how she lost her eye. Whoa! Uh, I think we're going to leave that there, folks. That feels like a good fucking cliffhanger moment. Uh, sorry about the manky eye. Uh, yeah, P for the eye, everyone. P's for the eye. Um, this is, yeah, this is where we're leaving it. Uh, goddamn cliffhanger, folks. Always leaving wanting more, right? So, look, listen, um... Just to catch you up on, sorry about the disgusting view, but um, uh, the rest of the week, uh, tomorrow is a night off for me. Then Wednesday, I'm going to be back with some RE4 DLC. Then Thursday, it's going to be, th I think Thursday and possibly Friday, both of them, Neil and I are going to be doing BG3 streams. I think on Thursday, we might have a guest. But I'm not sure exactly who it might be. I've forgotten his name, but the actor who plays Halsin um, on Thursday. And then on Friday, it will be more playthrough. Um, and then on Saturday, I'll be back probably with some more Red Dead Online. But yeah, Dave Jones, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Maybe with some Red Dead Online. Maybe with another, um, maybe with another community game session i got to talk to the mods and people and find out if we're, we're available for it. But um, if it will be community games, we'll, we're sticking with Dead by Daylight for a while because I'm loving it at the moment. I'm really just really enjoying playing it. So um, keep an eye out. Yeah, Jen's got it right. Keep an eye out. If you follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, uh, also the Discord, I make announcements for what's going to happen each day on all of those. Um, one last thing, I keep on. I mean, thank you to all the mods as per usual. Yeah, thank you for everyone who dropped subs. You guys were all very awesome and generous today. Thank you for that. Um, one last thing, I, I keep on forgetting to mention, and I think I mentioned it before. We've got lots of slots now for for more emotes, both on Twitch and on Discord. I think so. If you've got any more emotes that you want to drop for stuff, I don't know. Like we, I don't think we've got a pilk emote yet. Um, then, um, 
Ah, oh, Melly Shells, I'm liking it. We need a pilk emote or like a or like a cursed drink emote or whatever. If if um someone wants to design one, then let me know. Drop them into the art channel. Um yes, Jen yeah, drop them into the art channel and we'll start uploading some of the the good ones. You've got to if you've not designed emotes before, you've got to make them certain formats to fit the emote box. Um so yeah, yeah, yeah. If um let me know or if you want to, you can uh if you've got a few designs, uh message me on Discord in case because I don't often check the channels. There you go, Red Low knows the format. Um I think that was <laughs> I'm I'm a non I feel fine now. I think the burp was all that came up. Um, hopefully, um, don't drink milk and pickle juice, guys. It's fucking disgusting. Um, uh, been two hours at the stream. Uh, yeah, sorry if you joined us just recently, but I can't stream forever. But um, yeah, see you guys. See you guys on Wednesday. Um, oh, that's the wrong button. See you guys in my thanks again to the mods. Thank you all for being awesome. It was a lot of fun. Okay. Bye-bye.